Welcome back to the Hustlers of LA edition, R.I.P. Nipsey Hustle. We're talking about this black woman named Velma Grant. She had this vision. Uh, she was a real estate agent. She had a vision for a black enclave in Willowbrook, which is a section of LA next to Watson Compton. Now, prior to 1948, blacks were confined to 5% of Los Angeles. Now, there was immense overcrowding. In some sections, you'll see that it was 12 people to a one bedroom apartment or think like 60 people to one bathroom, right? So Bill McGrand knew that black people needed housing and we needed to find areas that we weren't segregated to. So in 1948, things changed because Shelley v. Kramer, the Supreme Court case, outlaws racial covenants. Racial covenants were a legal agreement in your actual deed where it said that you cannot sell your house to black people or Latinos or Chinese for that matter. Yet two years before this landmark case of Shelley v. Kramer passes, Velma Grant secures a loan from Bank of America for $2.29 million. Understand, women could not get credit in their own name until 1974. And this black woman, Velma Grant, was getting a $2.29 million loan in 1946. She purchases 50 acres of land in Willowbrook and commissions Paul Williams, the most famous black architect in US history. He created the floor plans for 640 new homes. And so because demand was so high for black people to purchase these houses, Velma Grant's vision expanded and started to include a shopping center. Now to understand the magnitude of this, Paul Williams had been building in black and white neighborhoods, wealthy, average, all across Los Angeles and across the country. I'm talking hotels. Beverly Hills Homes, UCLA, Howard University, MLK Hospital, the Pearl Harbor Memorial, storefronts, churches, and so much more. And Velma Grant got him. Bank of America didn't think she'd be able to afford him. She got him for under $4,000. That's how the black people were operating. And so Velma Grant, she named these new set of homes Carver Manors after George Washington Carver, he had just recently passed. And so she honored him. So you gotta understand, this is a black woman real estate agent with a huge vision. She gets the best black architect in the country. He's all over magazines. And then she honors one of the most prolific black scientists ever. This is black excellence at its core. She continued to build homes all across Los Angeles and San Bernardino and in some other areas of Southern California. She believed in quality housing for black people that would last at least three generations, right? This would be a place that black families could grow, community and culture could develop. Despite being a black person, despite being a woman, uh, she defied all obstacles and built a new neighborhood for her people. And that's why she's our hustler of the day.